when one knows about a change that needs to happen, but the change itself will cause pain for others involved, would it be best to surrender all of it and just allow or take action to move it forward with actions? Okay, I believe I know what you're talking about. So if you know that change is coming, but and it's coming for you, you're being called to another level or to another experience, but you know that to hit that level will cause others to suffer, well, suffer is a strong word, discomfort or pain to others, should you move in the direction that you are being intuitively led or inspired, which means spirit in inside of us, spirit is leading you, or should you put the needs of others ahead of yourself? Move in the direction that spirit leads. Always move in the direction that spirit leads. And you can tell it's from spirit because there's an excitement that comes along with it. Now, this excitement doesn't necessarily mean good excitement. We're going to the carnival kind of excitement, but a quickening that takes place. And as we contemplate this action step forward in whatever direction, there is also a complementary energy that takes place in the body or in the mind or the spirit. If spirit is telling you to do it, I would listen because to not listen means we likely will get there anyway, but we'll take the hard road. <laughs> have you ever known that you were supposed to leave that guy or that girl or have, leave that job? But, you know, one year later, after you figured that out, you're still at that job and it's getting harder. It's becoming more acute. You're now having health problems. That's the hard road. Spirit told you one year ago, you got to leave that job or that relationship, but you decided not to. And so the universe working in perfect concert with the will of the soul, not necessarily Crystal Ann Compton 3D who thinks she knows everything. No, no, no. I've got a higher mind. I've got a higher self. I've got all kinds of higher vantage points. The universe working in concert with my higher self soul will conspire to create the events necessary to get you where you said you wanted to go before you ever got here. And you did. Before you ever got here, you said, this is what I want to achieve with my life in this incarnation. These are the people I want to meet. This is the work I want to do. This is what I want to experience in my physical body. This is the love that I want to have or to make. And if at some point you detour because of choices and free will exists in this dimension, the universe is working in concert to get you back on track according to the intention that you set as a soul before you incarnated. Easy way or rough way? Easy way may cause pain to you and to others but it's the fastest way to get where you said you wanted to go. Case in point. Me. <laughs> I've been married three times. I come from a childhood of terrible abuse. My father was terribly, terribly abusive to my mother. And I, I've, I demonstrated unto me was the worst type of marriage that could have been. And we won't go into all that, but I didn't have skills <laughs> going into my first marriage at the age of 18. Of course I didn't. I was just trying to get out of my house. But there came a time when this strength emerged in me and I knew, you know what, I am not supposed to be here. I was too young to know how to contextualize or frame that. I was too young to know how to put forth a good argument that would bless not just myself, but also my partner. I was more like, I got to go. I got to go. It's time to go. I could feel it. And I've never been one to shrink away from kind of doing that hard thing. And so I left that first marriage and ultimately entered into my second marriage. Did I hurt that first guy? Yes, I did. He's my friend to this day, but I, I did. I hurt myself too. It was painful. With my second marriage, same thing. We just kind of grew apart. We had a child though. And so it was a different dynamic. If you have a child, it's a whole, there's a lot of things to consider and so I, I did put it off, but I felt probably for, I was married to that person for 15 years. I probably felt at like year four, like ooh, our optimal, <laughs> our optimal version of ourself, ourselves in this marriage, we've reached it. And so I wasn't conscious enough to tweak it, to continue to allow it to grow. We just weren't conscious enough. And at some point it became clear, like this isn't working. It's not going to work. And I ultimately made this de decision there to also leave that relationship. I had a child. We had animals. We had geography. We lived in Chicago. He ended up moving to New York. I ended up moving to Colorado. Like everything shifted. Was it painful? Absolutely. 
Did it hurt my child? Yes. And did it hurt my then husband? Yes. Did it hurt me? Yes. But it was absolutely for the best. So sometimes we have to do hard things to affect substantial change or at least necessary change to hit the next level that we're supposed to reach in order to access what it is that we came here to do, experience, or feel. And that's how levels work, my friends. Think of a building. When you walk into the stairwell of a building, you enter in on floor one. And floor one, you can open up the door and you can look down the hallway and you can see a bunch of doors. What's going on in those rooms? Lots of experiences, I'm sure. Lots of things to do, lots of things to know. But that's floor one. But if you shut that door and you look this way, what's over here? Stairs, a staircase, steps leading somewhere else. Well, where's that? It's floor two. It's the next level. So hitting a new level doesn't mean just experiencing all the rooms and all the things that you can experience on that level. It means now I have access to a whole other level, level two, level three, and all the steps, the increments, the things that happen before I even hit that level are now available to me. But if I'm on floor one, I can't see the staircase that's existing on floor three. I've got to actually move up those steps, which is really, it's it's one of the ways that I try to explain how consciousness works. Because as soon as you hit a new level, it feels like, aha, I'm here. And then you realize, oh, there's this whole new landscape <laughs> that I can still navigate. And I never knew all this other cool stuff was here. More and more and more is made available to you. But if we keep ourselves in states of stagnancy, if I just continue to say, whatever, I'm just going to continue to eat this way, do these things, conduct myself this way. And, you know, even though I have this intuitive feeling about what my body is doing, then I stay stuck on that level and I never achieve these higher experiences. So if you feel that spirit is asking you to do something hard that may hurt other people who are not yet ready to release their own stagnancy or to see the situation as spirit is allowing you to see it, listen to spirit above all else. And of course we conduct ourselves with the greatest of integrity. We always Try to be a blessing even when what we're doing is causing a dust up or an unsettling in the life condition. We're always coming from that orientation of love. And guess what? Love never fails. Love always wins. And at some point, that guy you married when you're 18 will come back around and said, you are, you are so right. It had to end. I'm in a better place now. I can see why you needed to do that to get to where you are now. It hurt but it was for the best. Blessings to you and whatever you're facing. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystallandcompton.com. See you there.